Here at WUSA 9, we are committed to covering stories about the environment that impacts your lives, and sometimes those reports inspire people too. Yeah, so this evening we are going to North Beach on the Chesapeake Bay in Calvert County, and the subject is horseshoe crabs, but that is just scratching the surface here. Focusing on the environment, here's WUSA 9 Scott Broom. Oh, it's Honestly. moving. Can I pour some water in? Yeah. Oh, you sucker. I'm Kathy Fouts, and I live in Calvert County. Oh, 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 oh. And I rescue horseshoe crab. Oh. <laughs> he was stuck in there, and it took three of us to get him out. <laughs> but he's, he's okay. <laughs> they are the horseshoe crab rescuers of North Beach. Kathy Fouts. Crab, she's a female. You can tell by the claws. I love crab. <laughs> Danny Hagwood. Linda Wiley. Yes! Oh my God! We got her! She's gonna have lots and lots of babies. And returned DC police officer Mia Booker. I guess we grandmas. <laughs> Delightful, yes, but here in North Beach, the horseshoe crabs die by the thousands in the man-made riprap of rock that protects the boardwalk in town. It's amazing for them to come out here and do this. The rock is laid over a sand beach that the horseshoe crabs have spawned on for millennia. After nearly 400 million years on Earth, they don't know to stop. Kathy explains how the rescuing started. The riprap traps the crabs. It's just collateral damage for the horseshoe crab population. Almost 100% will die in the rocks. <laughs> My husband and I went for a walk one day and the smell was unbelievable. We were so horrified that we uh, just started coming down every day to check and any live ones that we could find, we moved to the beach area. We had 895 rescues last year. It's important work because conservation groups list the horseshoe crab population worldwide as vulnerable, though here in the mid-Atlantic states, regulators say the situation is stable. The crabs are harvested for their blood, which is used in the biomedical industry to guarantee product safety. What is what you've discovered here? Tell us about the environment. Environmental impact of the riprap itself is huge, but then there has to be something going on because the tides are getting higher and higher. So maybe a changing climate is bringing more of these crabs into this dangerous environment for them. And I'm, and I'm assuming this is happening all over the whole eastern seaboard. After a morning of rescues, the women take the crabs down the boardwalk in North Beach and release them into a safe zone for spawning. Just another summer morning for the horseshoe crab rescuers of North Beach, Maryland. We've done 2,000 rescues this year already. For Environment Matters, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. 2,000 already, everybody doing their part, huh? I know. Yes, yeah, so the volunteers informally organized themselves on Facebook. They asked new, newcomers to do a safety training before trying to navigate those slippery rocks in North Beach. That can be dangerous. Yes, yeah, Scott has put more information on his website, which is on our website or on his web story, I should say. Don't let me confuse you. You will find more of this on WUSA9.com.